why I no longer drink coffee or consume caffeine at all. Hey, it's Scott Houck here, and in today's video, we're going to be covering a couple of things that have really personally helped me out. I think it'll personally help you out as well. If you want to increase your energy levels, you want to be more neutral rather than an up and down roller coaster with your physical energy levels and the good things that will come from not being addicted to caffeine. So uh, just about a year ago, actually just under a year ago now, and I'm going to be doing videos on this, I had a plant medicine experience. I did ayahuasca. You might have heard of that before, you might have known it, or you might have done it yourself as well. No matter where you're at, ayahuasca is a plant medicine. It helps you heal the things and traumas, the different burdens you've kept within your body to release those and free yourself in order to have your energy and who you are come out a lot more. These ayahuasca experiences were four nights in a row and it was absolutely profound. Again, I'll be talking about this in another video. If you're intrigued and you want to know about my experiences, which were the, it was the hardest week of my life and the most blissful. If you're interested in learning about that, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear if you're interested, I'll create some more videos on that, like I mentioned. But I needed to mention that because the real reason why I had stopped caffeine and let me give you a little pretext before this. What I used to do a couple of years ago was drink a lot of caffeine. Oh my, I would drink so much. I would have a cup of coffee in the morning, American coffee, black coffee. I didn't even put sugar or anything in it. I enjoyed black coffee, so I'd have that. And then it would be around like 12 p.m., 1 p.m. I would absolutely crash. So I might have my coffee, say, for example, at 8 a.m. in the morning. Then by 12 o'clock, I would be so tired. Like my energy, I would feel lethargic. I'd feel exhausted. And it's not even like I got that little of sleep or something like that. I would just be so tired, right? But I'd feel so good after my morning coffee. Like I, could, I was invincible. I could do anything I wanted, right? And then I would get to like 12, 1230, and I would need more of this really drug, okay, this caffeine. I would need something like a pick-me-up. So I used to drink those energy drinks, believe it or not. I would have, I'd had Red Bulls, like sugar-free. I'm always health conscious, so I thought sugar-free would be better, right? Sugar-free uh, Red Bulls. I drank the ones that are called Bang energy drinks as well. I had a couple other ones that were like natural from, from Whole Foods and things of that nature, Sprouts. Uh, none of them were really great for you by any means, but I would still drink them because it would be my pick-me-up. Those Bang Energy drinks, I think, have like 300 milligrams of caffeine. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's somewhere around there, right? And different energy drinks as well uh, really have a very high caffeine content. And then, you know, I get to, a, I would be high, flying high, I'd be good, sometimes, you know, ready to rock and roll for like three hours. Then by like 4 35 o'clock, I'd crash again. I'd feel exhausted, okay? I'd feel so tired, and then. I try and have the mindset, oh, I only need to sleep six hours a night, six and a half hours a night, so I try and do that and then wake up in the morning, and again, I would I would need more caffeine. Now, I knew this was not good, okay? It, there were times, too, when I had really long work days. I was doing a lot of coaching sessions. I was doing a lot of things that by even like 4.35 o'clock, I'd have another cup of coffee, another cup of coffee. It was insane now that I think about it, right? But at the time, I'm like, well, what else am I going to do, right? Uh, I, I don't have enough time. I try to stop having caffeine. Uh, usually that would be like three days, right? That's usually like an addiction thing. When you're addicted to something, it'd be like a day, you'd be fine. Two days, you start to get cranky, you start to have some things happen right internally. The third day, you're like, I need the caffeine, I need the drug, and you go back on it, right? So my excuse was always, I'm not productive, I need to do the work today, so therefore I need the caffeine. So I'd calm myself out. I would justify why I needed the caffeine. Sometimes I'd try and switch it up. I'd have like a green tea. I, I used to love teas. Um, so, you know, a green tea of some sort, uh, you know, whatever. I, I slowly got rid of more the energy drink stuff. But still, I'd have this roller coaster and my partner out to me tremendously, right? Uh, just in the side of like knowing having those caffeine drinks in the afternoon is not a good idea at all because I, I remember being on the weekend and if I didn't drink a caffeine source, I would be I would be so slow, my mind would be absolute brain fog, right? 
so long story short, I needed to tell you where I was at because I slowly started to say like, you know, I never thought I, I was a problem. I never thought I was addicted to caffeine. I thought having a cup of coffee in the morning, everyone does it. What's the, what's the problem with it? No problem, right? Everything's fine. If I needed to, I would definitely not drink it anymore. It's not a big deal, but it was. When we were going to go do the ayahuasca at this retreat center, and again, share in the comments below if you're interested and intrigued in that because I'll share the entire experience. Uh, it's part of a called dieta. It's a diet. And this diet, you want to you want to basically do some preparation before you do the plant medicine to get the best benefit and the best overall results and the best, really, you coming into this and not having such of these addictive behaviors before you go into this or else I think you'll have probably a rougher ride. So the part of the diet was, I believe it was 14 days before the ceremonies, you wanted to slowly get off caffeine. So what I did was only a cup of coffee, I stopped tea in the afternoons and then I would do like a full cup of coffee. And then I would do like three fourths a cup every like two days. And then after like four or five days, I do a half a cup. You know, I slowly started to get less and less caffeine. By the time I was weeding off of this caffeine, just the coffee in the morning, I wasn't even doing any in the energy. I started to get wicked headaches, like terrible. It, sounded, it felt like a migraine, like my entire head would be like, it felt like it wanted to blow up. Okay, it felt, it felt like I had pressure on my temples, pressure on my head. Um, I, I would get easily irritated. And I'm somebody that's most of the day centered and calm and collected and, and aligned. But when I was getting off this caffeine, I would get edgy easy on, on the little things. And I was like, what, what is going on within me? I'm not consciously choosing to be edgy. And you know, uh, you know all this stuff, but it would happen for me. And uh, what else? Oh, when we were sleeping, like I, I remember, like I needed a lot more sleep. And if I didn't get enough sleep, like by one o'clock, I almost felt like I needed to take an hour nap, two hour nap. Like I was done, no energy, terrible headaches, couldn't focus for for like I usually I could focus in for a long time. I, I have developed that practice and that skill and ability to do that. But when I was getting off caffeine, I could not focus. I couldn't do the work that I love as best as I could. So this was some days before, and then we finally got to the retreat center. I still had these terrible headaches, even during night one of the ceremonies, terrible headaches. And then ayahuasca really helps you clear all this stuff up because then I was good, good to go after that. Um, so... The caffeine, what I realized, absolutely, whether people want to believe this or not, and you believe what you want to believe, tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are, but I believe caffeine is an absolute drug. It is a drug. It is something that we go to in order to change the way we feel, to change our physical energy. And most people con themselves out and justify, I only have a cup of coffee in the morning. It's fine. Oh, try, try 30 days of not having caffeine and see what happens. I feel like when you're off of caffeine, like I don't, I haven't had an ounce of caffeine since that time. Not a sip of tea that's caffeinated, not, I never drink soft drinks anyways, like Coca-Cola and Mountain Dew, uh, but nothing of that nature, no coffee. So much so that even like I had the cravings of wanting it before the plant medicine, but after I was on the plant medicine, I don't have a single craving. I don't even want coffee flavored chocolate. And I love dark chocolate and I used to love the coffee flavored dark chocolate. I don't even want that anymore. You know, I, I, I just completely linked off of it. And what had happened is I had become more of me. I am more of the real me, the higher self me, more of my day easier than ever before. Promise you. I don't have a roller coaster of energy. In fact, morning until night on most days. Now, and not every day because everyone has the things going on and the stuff going on in the world or, you know, different things that cause a little bit of drain some sort of times. Um, morning till night, I have natural energy like this. Again, there are occasional days where I'm tired. I might have some emotional drain from something. 
I might have some physical training. I'm not to the point where it's every day just yeah, I'm practicing better and better that, okay? But most day, I'm talking about nearly every day, I have phenomenal energy morning till night. No caffeine needed, no pick-me-up needed, better sleep than ever before. Like I sleep better, I wake up energized rather than feeling drained, not every morning, but most mornings. Because when I was on caffeine, I would wake up in the morning feeling drained. Like I, I would be behind my eyes usually, I'd feel exhausted. Like I, until I got that cup of coffee and then I was good to go, right? So it's had a profound impact on me and I realized how many other things was I addicted to? Now, I'm not saying addicted to drugs and heroin, you know, all these drugs. What I'm talking about is the little things. Was I ever addicted to social media? And I was at some point before I got all that stuff off my phone, right? I was addicted to the dopamine rush. Anytime pain and hurt and trauma or feelings would come up for me, I'd suppress them by going, being busy, right? I, I would go on my phone and just go through Instagram really quick. I'd go on my phone and go through Facebook really quick, right? I was addicted to the dopamine rushes when I didn't feel good. Same thing for caffeine. And I kept conning myself out because I had drank coffee for so many years that I, I can't do this without without caffeine. I get the terrible headaches every time, single time I try. I get on focus. I feel like I'm, I'm not being so productive and efficient. So I con myself out. But I strongly believe this was a drug. And now that I'm linked off of the drug, I am more of me, more of my day. I am happier. I am more joyful. I am more aligned than ever. What are your thoughts on this? Do you believe it's a drug? Do you believe it's an addictive behavior? Or do you feel it's just a cup of coffee? It's just a tea? It's just a right caffeine source? What are your thoughts? Now, from this experience, I highly recommend to try it out. It's not easy. Basically, I was forcing myself, so you may need a strong motivation like I did. My strong motivation was I was going to this plant medicine ceremonies in this retreat center, and I knew I wanted the best experience, and I would follow directions. I'm somebody who's very dedicated to what I'm about to do, so if somebody, you know, a couple shamans are setting up and saying you should follow this diet to get the best experience, I'm going to do my best with it. Okay, I'm not going to be perfect, but I'm going to do my best. So I knew that. That was a strong motivation for me. You may need a strong motivation for you. I don't know what that is. But find it out and try it. You're going to have to get over that one to two week threshold. And I'm sure if you search YouTube videos, how do I get off caffeine easier? I'm very sure. I know of, I've heard of some stories where people wean off caffeine and they have no headaches and none of the side effects because they do it in the right way or just physicality. They just in a, or mentally, maybe they're prepared for it. So I'm not saying my, my experience was the only experience and you're going to have wicked headaches and unfocusedness and stuff, but that was my experience. So... Try it out for yourself. Find any addictive behaviors. You know, is it social media? Is it this? Is it this? You know, find things that like, once I start feeling a certain way or once I feel bored, I go to this, I go to this thing. I go to this thing that's not called a drug, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm not becoming the full me because I'm still addicted to these little things here and there. Right? So that's why I don't drink coffee anymore. I don't drink any caffeine. I don't even drink tea anymore. I mean, there's definitely non-caffeinated tea. It's got a lot of benefits. I know there's, you know, all the different things that go along with teas. I, I get it. I'm not black and white and saying nobody should ever drink caffeine again in their life. I'm not saying that at all. And definitely I am no health expert. So that can be a health advice here. And that's full disclaimer. If anybody, you know, talk to the health professional you need to before you do any of this. However, uh, I think my experience will definitely help you in a way of think about it. Open yourself up to the idea, do I need it? Can I try to get off these quote unquote non-drugs, but really are drugs, addictive behaviors? See if you become more of you, I challenge you. And I know I mentioned this a few times, but again, in the comments below, I am intrigued by knowing what have you experienced? Have you experienced getting off caffeine? Do you drink caffeine? Do you feel okay with that? What are your thoughts on this? Go in the comments below, I'd love to know. Okay, hope this video helps you in my personal vlog series, just giving you some insights of the journey that I've been through, hoping some of these insights hit home for, for you in a certain way, give you some ideas on how to live a greater lifestyle. Because we're not just about manifesting only, you know, success and money and good things into your life. We're also about living a whole life, integrated life with your divine feminine, divine masculine energies and 
understanding how to bring yourself, clearing out your traumas and healing those parts of you better and better, living a better lifestyle and being happier, more fulfilled within, staying aligned more of your day than not, and allowing yourself to experience the best lifestyle you possibly can. All right. So Scott, I'm signing off here. I'm looking forward to your comment below. Definitely let me know your experiences. And if you do want to know about my ayahuasca experiences, let me know about those as well in the comments below if you'd like to hear about those ideas and experiences.